Hey everyone, welcome back to the Gamers Refuge. We are playing Stranded Deep. This is still on the experimental version, and you know the last Stranded Deep video did you know pretty well in terms of views. So I kind of took the cue that you know people might want to see some more Stranded Deep. So if you know what the hell, you know I'm gonna start saving this game though because I want to see if in the current environment and the way they got things set up in the experimental version, if survival survivability is actually going to be, you know, doable. So, uh, in this video, though, I want to explore some shipwrecks. And, there, you see, there, there's just a fuck ton of them around. And maybe we'll travel to a couple different islands. There's the island up ahead that we did in the last video with the rock faces and all that. It's just just fucking awesome. I, you know, if I, if I can craft a house, if the game will let me at this point, I'm gonna put a house on that island because it's just beautiful. So let's dive in the water. I don't think they have any sharks active, so we should be safe from sharks. But discus. But yeah, this is. Let's go back up for air, because... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. <laughs> Fucking A. Yeah, this dude can't hold his breath for very long. It's like... Yeah, I sure as fuck hope he wasn't an Olympic swimmer. I mean... Jesus Christ. <laughs> he, can't, he can't seem to stay underwater for very long at all. Alright, what we got? Got a torch. Take that. Oh, well, machete, but definitely taking that. So, let's get out. God damn it. The fucking mouse is so fucking sensitive on this. So, let's go ahead and get, go get some more air. Because my guy's a wuss and he can't hold his frickin' breath longer than. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Really? Holy shit. Okay, I was trying to get everything out of my hands so that I can swim, hopefully, a little faster. This is a pretty damn big uh, shipwreck. Take a fuel tank. I can't really do nothing with that one. That one's not going to open. Oh, okay, here we go. Surface over here. There we go. Alright, let's dive back in. Let's see, is there anything else? Anything else we may have missed? Oh, there's some black hermits in here. And with a lighter. Oh, and a hammer. We're gonna take the hammer. A toolbox. What we got? What we got? Another torch. Don't need it. Where we got one? Yeah, when, when you, the torch or flashlight, when you equip it, it's permanently equipped. So you never really need to grab another one. At least I don't think you do. So let's come down and search the bottom hall. Is there anything of note down here? Nope, not a fucking thing. And apparently I can't get out through there. But well, I can get out through here. That's awesome. <coughs> Alright. Let's get over here to our little life raft. Climb in. Alright, let's paddle over to the island. And we're going to dump off some stuff that we just collected and free up some space. Yeah, if you get seasick easy, I probably don't recommend watching or playing this. <laughs> but, you know, other than that, I mean, that, that, this really is for, like, you know, something to be, you know, like a survival game being dropped off in the middle of the fucking ocean. No way to really you know, get out and get back to civilization, 
you know, it really is, you know, in my opinion, it's a great game. You know, just... Huh. You know, just sit there and equip everything and drop it. because I might need it. So, let's try to paddle. Alright, let's paddle our asses back out into the water. And we're gonna go see what the deal is with this little ship right here. Engine. Uh, so far, we're finding some parts to make us, you know, uh, a little motor. So, other than that, there's a hard case up here. But I don't think there's much way to get up to it. You know, the controls are a little funky. Can't climb the ladders or nothing. Fucking sucks. You'd think they'd fix that shit. But, oh well. Maybe in a future update. But yeah, th thus far, the I think the developers have done a damn nice job with it. And they're, you know, of course, you know, still in early access, so they're still doing work to it. There could be still very dramatic changes yet to come. I know they're working on like a multiplayer system, which would be, you know, awesome. I can't wait for them to get that finished. So, me, you know, honestly, me and my wife have been waiting to be able to play this together. Right click, you can just pick it up and reposition it. Leave these buckets facing up, and when it rains, they will both fill with fresh water, and you'll be able to refill your uh, water bottle. So it'll give you a nice supply of water. And it it tends to, at least from what I remember when I was playing before, uh, it tends to rain fairly frequently. So you know, it's not like you're gonna, you know, especially with two buckets. You know, I only had one before, and I never ran out of water. So, the two buckets, you should be pretty much guaranteed you're not going to run out of water at all. So, and the sun's going down. I want to check out this other shipwreck over here beforehand, and then go ahead and save it, and we'll call it a wrap on this video. I just want to do a really short video for this one, just exploring some of the shipwrecks and stuff. And just seeing what the deal what the deal is with them and if they've changed anything oh, that door is not gonna open uh, da -da 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 -da. and we're gonna get up here and get some air starting to get dark and at that point at the point where it starts getting dark as you can tell you really can't see shit 
Um, actually, that's what our torch is for. In this hard case, we have a flare gun. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, there's some air. Let's see if we can find us a stinking door to get into the... Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, can I get through the damn fucking door? Okay, the bucket. We'll take that. Where's the locker? Oh, well. And bikes. Oh yeah, you can always use medicine. Well, there's the locker. Flashlight, don't need it. So... Another engine. Never know. Could come in handy. I think that's going to be about it. Alright, where is... I think, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's night time. Yeah, it's kind of spooky being out in the ocean at night time. Stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and head to land. Luckily, I have my handy dandy flashlight. It looks like I have it's probably secured to my head or something, which, eh, yeah, it works. And, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save. And, you know, we, we explored some shipwrecks and found some very useful stuff that's gonna come in very handy later. So, let's go ahead and throw that in there. Right click on the raft. Go ahead and bring it on in. Is accidentally get washed out to sea. And that would fucking suck. So, oh yeah, we get, so yeah, we got us a couple, we got, found us another lighter, so we got two lighters now, some morphine, hammer, machete, some stuff to, some parts that we're going to need to make a engines for when we craft a raft, some buckets to catch rainwater, you know, flare gun, some an, you know, uh, antibiotics and stuff. So yeah, we're, we're, we're doing damn fine. Um, let's see where our... I'm trying to remember how I brought my damn wristwatch up. Oh, there it is, OBF. Okay. And my food is three bars down. Water's doing good. All right. Well, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, yeah, we explored some shipwrecks, found some neat stuff. And, uh, you know, make sure you join me for the next Stranded Deep video. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some more. And next one, we're going to see what we can round up for as far as survival and food and all that. So, I hope you liked the video. Hit that thumbs up button down below if you did like it. And leave some comments down below and all. And, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And... Until next time, I will see you in the games.